Hello friends, welcome to Detroit, Michigan. We are at, where are we at, Brad? Today we are at the Grandy Ballroom. Uh, for those of you that don't know the history of the Grandy, uh, the Grandy is very infamous back in the day. It actually was a dance hall, it started as a dance hall in the 20s, I believe. Um, then when that business left, a music teacher bought the building and brought a ton of psychedelic rock uh, to Detroit. The Grateful Dead played here. That's why we're here. <laughs> the Grateful Dead, hey. Grateful Dead played here. Um, <laughs> dude, I mean. Led Zeppelin played Led here. Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, MC5. Let's go see if we can get in this building. Let's do it. Looks like it's gonna be easier than what we thought. Uh, Our plans have been foiled. major hornet's nest up there. Dysfunctional stairway. So far, every opening has been welded shut or blocked up. I don't know how much they're selling it for. Hmm. Brett, we need a miracle. We do, that's all right. Shoot. Well, there's a will, there's a way. Hmm. The front doors were right here, but everything is so sealed off. Doesn't look like we're gonna get in. Massive trees growing out of that place. Uh, that is the top of one of those old power lines. That's an electrical conductor. And it's laying on the street. Well, this is the Fisher body plant. If you have a car with a Fisher stamp on it, it came out of this building. It is the most accessible abandoned building that I've ever seen. Brett is in there already, so I better get in there. Welcome, friends. Come. <laughs> I think I saw a critter run across. Yeah, there's a raccoon. Okay. Ow. The old tile is still in this this spot. Like I said, it's original tile. Oh, the car elevator. There's one of those quarter dispensing shopping carts. Somebody, somebody managed to get the quarter out and steal the cart. Life of a YouTuber, right here. Oh yeah. We made it up. Here on the second floor is a lot of art. I got the old school urinal in here, the, the gang urinal. Get in here working in a long factory day and just been here with all your buddies. So, <laughs> just so talking about today. So, yeah. We're on the fifth floor now. About every floor is similar. The fifth year, ooh, not so similar. There is some stuff going on. This is the floor. This is the old paint booth. Some vehicle that it's probably too big to take with them.
big ventilation system up here. It's neat to see this track where cars would move right along for the next person to work on them on the assembly line. We have run into some other urban explorers up here. I love this. I love walking around these old abandoned buildings, especially one as big as this. There's just so much history here in this, in this building. How many days of work people showed up here? And there are probably a lot of people that started working here as their first job, retired from here every single day, going to work in this place. Making cars. These stairs are a little sketch, like like everything in the building. There's a view of downtown through the window. in here. There's the Ford factory. A lot of cars. Go right here. Still works. Now we gotta go down. Going downstairs is half my favorite part of the event. Yeah, this is not the best experience right here. Sound advice. Yeah. Yee. Also, staying close to the wall. So. Seen the ceiling here. Look at this. Why is that, Brett? I don't know. I believe it's calcium, maybe, or something in the uh, cement. And when the rain comes through, because this building is so decrepit, the rain comes through every little crack and forms these like urban stalactites. It's so cool. Now it's time to go back up. Get down is easy. I have to take care of that. Not that bad. Whew. Brett, what a cool building, huh? Pretty sweet, huh? You could just easily uh, access a building, park outside, walk right in. Crazy. Only in Detroit. This place is really interesting. A lot of a lot of goings ons happened here. A lot of going on, yeah. Still to this day, man, they come out and do barbecue parties like every weekend. <laughs> Hang out, jam some music, enjoy, enjoy the city. All right, what's next? What's next? More Detroit. Okay. This. Huh. Brett and I had a great time exploring the abandoned Fisher auto plant. But now it's time to check out another iconic abandoned building. It used to be all one building. Driving through where the old Packard plant well, still is, but not in operation anymore. It's totally abandoned. Fenced off. But sort of. Sort of. Looks like this is a community garbage dump. This is an entire boat. Someone has gifted the community. Some left, someone has left their unmentionables. Here's one.
this building goes for many, many city blocks, like six city blocks. Uh, the other part of the boat is right here, friends, if you wanted to assemble, bring back to life this old trash heap of a boat. You can... just goes on forever and ever. You can see it in the, in the mirror going backwards for blocks and blocks. It goes on forever. When I was looking up abandoned buildings in Michigan, most of them, say 98% of the buildings listed were in Detroit. You can see that clearly there's a lot of abandoned buildings. But a lot of them are being restored. You can see this one here beside us. So we're walking around trying to find some of the empty ones, accessible ones, without breaking the law. Too bad. We might have found our terminal limit for the day. Here we're at the uh, Michigan Central Station, which is the old train station. Probably the most famous building in Detroit because uh, it was abandoned for quite some time. This is actually, uh, the architect is the same as New York's Grand Central Station, which is really cool. So the architecture is beautiful. Used to be hustling and bustling through here. Now Ford actually bought it. Ford is rehabbing it and uh, they're building up the inside. It's gonna be like a little shopping mall down in the bottom. And then all the floors above that, um, once you get past the lobby, is going to be part of the new Ford Electric Vehicle Center. Hmm. So they're actually going to do a lot of wow. electric vehicle research center uh, uh, in this building. So that's coming in the next like two or three years, I believe. Uh, I think that's wishful thinking, but next two or three years. There it is. Well, Brett, thanks for taking me around to uh, some abandoned places here in Detroit. This is really fun. I think we only tapped the tip tippy tip of the iceberg of abandoned buildings we have so much to offer here yeah we just got going man this is a, a big big city with a lot of history a lot of cool buildings that uh, have been left behind and it's just too expensive to tear down or do anything else with so they just sit there and uh, we get to enjoy it a little bit yeah. appreciate you coming out to the city and and uh, yeah man. enjoying what Detroit has to offer this will not be the last time that I venture to Detroit and we explore some abandoned buildings. I, I have some ideas for the future that we'll, we'll tap too. into soon. Yeah. Well, Brett, thanks. Thanks for taking us along. I appreciate it. Friends, thanks for joining us today at all these abandoned spots. Not all of them. I mean, geez, we only went into a couple, but thanks for joining us. These couple of abandoned places here in downtown Detroit. It's awesome. See you in the next video. I see him too.